Lisa here with Being Breath, and I just wanted to come to you with a just quick observation. It's been a while since I've done a video, and this one's just far easier to do, just hitting record. Just had to say, life is weird. So I wrote the post this morning, posted it uh, to the newsletter and to my blog post about seduction and flirtation. And let me tell you, I've been loving sinking into that reality over the past week as I have been researching it and writing and experiencing as much as possible. And that energy just doesn't shut off the second that I hit post. It's still very much cursing through my veins and through my thoughts. And I'm living that energy and it's not going to stop. But simultaneously, this morning, I had a fight with my 14-year-old son over which shirt he was supposed to wear and going to wear for his tennis match this afternoon. Lots of mom guilt there, lots of anger and bringing it back in and practice with being a mom. If you're a parent, you know what I mean, especially a parent of a teenager. When he walks out of the house, all I'm left with is the silence and my feelings. Remember those feelings, those energetic, alive feelings of flirtation and seduction and all the thoughts I've been having about that haven't gone away, but suddenly they are butting heads with all of these thoughts of being a mom and, and what it means and did I hurt his feelings? Should I go apologize? And no, no, definitely not. Should I go buy him the shirt that he wanted for this evening? Should I just let him forget about it and I'll see him at his match? All of these different thoughts, all of these different emotions. I share the story with you of the seduction and flirtation and how hard it is for me to talk about that and live that and breathe that. And I've shared many stories about parenting with you. But this story right here is, is equally as important to share. The one that says when living all of these different stories simultaneously, it's weird. It's hard. It's challenging. It would be easy to not think about one of these stories, to forget that sensual and seductress side of me, or to go back to work and not think about my son and his troubles and I'll just show up at the tennis match. Instead, the vibrancy of life comes with being aware and living all of these stories simultaneously. And it's hard, it's challenging, it's uncomfortable, but it's also worth, uh, also worth it. It's rewarding. That's the beauty of a life fully lived, the beauty of this being breath practice. So I hope whatever stories are arising in your life today that you are finding some sort of connection and peace with them all. And until next time, 